What's up, people? Welcome to the video and welcome back, members of the Tang Gang. Today we're officially finishing up the European Pokedex. As always, links are in the iCards and description for previous episodes of the series if you missed them. Remember, in the previous two episodes we got all the way up through Gen 6 for Europe, so this video will be going over the final two generations. Drop a like if you're excited, and now without further ado, let's jump into this. Cutie Fly and Rybombi, based on bee flies with worldwide distribution but the highest diversity in Europe with 335 different species. Mudbray and Mudsdale, Clydesdale horses known for the feathering on their legs and they come from a county in Scotland of the same name. Dupider and Araquanid, the diving bell spider is actually a real spider that creates and lives inside of air bubbles underwater. The nominate species mostly lives throughout Europe. Type Null and Silvalli. They are based on Chimeras, a monstrous hybrid creature from Greek mythology that was typically depicted as a lion with the head of a goat on its back and a snake head on its tail. Delmise. The modern anchor is thought to have been invented by a Greek named Eupalamus. Cosmog and Cosmoum. Due to their immense weight despite their small size, they have been compared to black holes or neuron stars, both of which are first discovered by European scientists. Neither Solgaleo nor Lunala belongs in Europe though, meaning that rather than Cosmome's evolution being determined by which game version you're playing, in the real world it would probably be based on what continent you were in at the time of evolution. Circuitry, a tree made of power lines with a Moravian star for a head. The Moravian Star is a popular illuminating decoration for Christmas, Advent, or Epiphany, mainly in Germany. Necrozma, based on prisms and the concept of light refraction. Sir Isaac Newton from England is known for his use of prisms, and the law of refraction was discovered by Dutch mathematician Willebrord Snell van Royen. Both are from Europe, so that's where Necrozma belongs. Stakataka, it's a living castle tower, and castles are everywhere, so I decided to look up what country has the most castles. Turns out it's Germany with over 25,000. Seriously, that blew my mind. But yeah, so Staka goes in EU. Blacephalon. Never really thought about why I don't care for this Pokemon until I learned its origin. It's a clown. The earliest of the true circus clowns was Joseph Grimaldi, who first appeared in England in 1805. Scorbunny, Raboot, and Cinderace. They're based on generic rabbits, and all 305 breeds of domestic rabbits descend from the European rabbit. Squovit and Greedon, Eastern Grey Squirrels and Eurasian Red Squirrels respectively. In Great Britain, the greys are an invasive species and have caused the reds to become endangered. Rookity, Corvusquire, and Corviknight, based on carrion crows native to Western Europe. Blipbug, Dottler, and Orbital, physically based on ladybugs or ladybirds in England. Like Ladybug and Ledian, they belong here in Europe anyway, but Orbital is specifically based on Cochinella septempunctata, the most common species of ladybird in Europe. Gossifleur and Eldegoss. It resembles the floating seed pods of windflowers, common in the British Isles. Wooloo and Dubwool. Based on the Jacob sheep, a British breed of domestic sheep notable for its four horns and black and white coloration. Yamper and Boltund. A Welsh Corgi and an English Greyhound. Applin, Flapple, and Appleton. Applin and Flapple are both based on codling moths, known for burrowing in apples and thought to originate in Europe. Appleton is based on Leyden, a dragon from Greek mythology. Aracuda and Barascuta. They're based on Barracuda fish, which are found in a variety of places, some of the largest being in the Mediterranean Sea. Barascuta's name also references skewers, the oldest evidence of which was discovered at a 300,000 year old site in Germany. Hatena, Hatrim, and Hatterene. Inspired by forest witches from European folklore such as the one from Hansel and Gretel. Impidimp, Morgram, and Grimmsnarl. Above all their other inspirations, I think goblins stand out. Monstrous creatures from European folklore said to have characteristics of both fairies and demons. Obstagoon. As fun as the Gene Simmons inspiration is, animal-wise Obstagoon is a European badger. Galarian forms of Zigzagoon and Linoon would probably go here as well. Berserker, based on the concept of Vikings from Scandinavia, specifically Berserkers which were warriors known to fight with intense fury. Mr. Rhyme, a Pokemon tap dancer. Tap dancing is a combination of many different dancing styles, including a particular dance called Dube Juba dance, as well as English clog dancing and Irish jigs. Runerigus, seems to be based on Ingvar runestones, large stones engraved by Vikings used to commemorate the lives of notable people and events, such as the Swedish Viking expedition to the Caspian Sea. Milsuri and Alchemy 
the Pokemon version of the popular British dessert called Eton Mess, a mixture of fruit, typically strawberries, merengue, and whipped cream. Phalanx. Its name is a play on the term phalanx, a rectangular mass military formation often composed of infantry with spears and spikes. It is commonly associated with ancient Greek warfare. Stonejourner. One of the stone formations from Stonehenge, a mysterious monument from the Middle Neolithic of Wiltshire, England. Indeedy. Lairs are ancient Roman deities said to protect the house in exchange for worship and gratitude. They apparently hold rita, which are horn-like containers. Indeedy's caregiving and protective nature, as well as its horns, link it to this inspiration. Dracozolt, Arctozolt, Dracovish, and Arctovish. Based on the Crystal Palace dinosaurs, a series of misassembled dinosaur sculptures displayed at the Crystal Palace Park in London. Good to know they actually are based on something and not just horrific mistakes in the Pokemon universe. Duraludon, Pokemon version of The Shard, the tallest building in the UK. Zacian and Zamazenta. This duo is loaded with inspiration from the tale of King Arthur and the Knights of the Round Table. Zacian is the sword Excalibur, and Zamazenta is the shield <laughs> Wingbethector, which Arthur wielded and is associated with the rightful sovereignty of Britain. And with that, we have gone through all 216 Pokemon from the European Pokedex. Which of the origins from this video was your favorite? Let me know in the comments below. Asia was first and Europe was second. Which continent do you think came in third place? Be sure to subscribe and hit the bell so you can be notified when the next video goes live to find out. And don't forget to leave a like if you enjoyed the video. It really helps me out and I appreciate it tremendously. If you have friends that like Pokemon stuff too, don't be selfish. Share the video with them so they can have fun too. Thanks for watching and until we meet again, later people!